Hi, I'm Valerie Taylor, the Feel Better Coach, and I am thrilled to be here with you to share the last of my three-part series, the Red, White, and Blue series of recipes for the summer holidays, whether it's Memorial Day or Fourth of July or Labor Day, you'll be a winner with every one of these recipes. Now, hopefully you've already seen how to prepare Fiesta Parole tomatoes, um, wonderful with grilled meats, um, but lots of other options to go with those as well. And I hope you've also tried my blueberry mango salsa, yummy, colorful, healthy, terrific, and easy to use with chips or with um, lettuce leaves or on top of fish. Today's our final recipe and it's Crab Hop and John. And I want to tell you, Hop and John is typically made with some type of pork. Um, usually ham hocks um, are added or some type of pork is added to the dish. Today, however, I'm using crab. Healthier version, delicious version. You'll enjoy it a lot. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to use two cans of lump crab meat, um, gorgeous, beautiful white crab meat, all prepared for you. You do want to kind of pick through it just a little bit, be sure it, a little extra cartilage didn't get in there, that wouldn't be too tasty. Now on top of that, you'll want to um, squeeze a couple of lemons, so you've got plenty of juice on top of that, and I like to use my handy squeezer. It gets lots of lemon juice without seeds. And you noticed I rolled that lemon before I squeezed it. Whoa! These are juicy lemons. Um, that's a good way to get a little more yield out of your lemon. So we're going to do the second one here. Bob and John's um, featured ingredients are rice and black eyed peas. And like I said, typically some type of pork product. Um, it's a low country dish from the coastal region of the Carolinas. I think you'll find a Cajun version typically as well, but it's very delicious. Great source of protein, and in this case, a great source of seafood. We all need a little more fish and seafood in our diet. Okay. About three cups of white rice here. This is long grain rice. You can use brown rice as well, but I decided to use the white because this is my white recipe in the series. So let's go ahead and add in that gorgeous two cans of lump crab meat along with all of that wonderful lemon juice. In addition to that, I'm going to add a, a small to medium finely diced red onion. Lots of beautiful color there. A couple of stalks of celery that I have finely diced. We're going to add in a 10 ounce package of black eyed peas that have been cooked. Um, so go ahead and put these in. The nice thing about this dish is it's very good whether or not you serve it hot or cold. So for those um, summer holidays, typically we want things that are either served cold or at room temperature. So this works that way as well. Okay, I've got almost all of my ingredients. I'm going to add a little salt in here. Not too much, maybe about a half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to show you one little trick here. Let's be sure you can see everything. That I think is a terrific way to freshen up dried herbs. I want you to use about a quarter cup of parsley and you're going to chop that finely. But I'd also like you to add a little thyme into this recipe. Now this is dried thyme. Um, and if you want to freshen up dried herbs, it's really nice to mix them in with fresh herbs. And as I chop the fresh herbs, and I've got the thyme in there, that's a half a teaspoon roughly, and chop this in here, it's going to basically rehydrate the dried herbs. So it gets a little more of that flavor out. Of course, if you've got dried thyme, go ahead and use it. I grow thyme, but I wanted to show you this little tip today because I think it's a nice thing to do if you don't happen to be in a place where you're growing herbs. All right, that's great. Let's put this back over. Put that in. Oh, well, there we go. Put all that in. Mmm. Again, you know how I feel about color in the food. The more colorful, the more fun. All right, and the last 
last thing we need to do, put a little black pepper on top. I like a lot of pepper, but you use the amount that you enjoy. And we're going to give that a nice mix. And even though this is our white recipe, look at it, it's still gorgeous. It still has plenty of vibrancy and it just says, I'm delicious. Come try me. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do here. All right, let's put a little scoop in here. Now this is particularly nice when you serve it with a little hot sauce on top. So let's give that a little shake. I wouldn't put it in the recipe. Just put it on the side for your guests to enjoy. Let's see how that turned out. Mmm. Terrific. Again, even though it's white, it has some nice color in it with the red onion, the celery, the black eyed peas, especially when you put the red hot sauce on top. That is terrific. I hope you've enjoyed the red, white, and blue series. If you'd like this recipe or the other two recipes, please go to www.feelbettercoach.com. And I'll see you again real soon. Thanks.